In fitting South African style for soap opera royalty, a Cape Malay lunch at Hrut Constantia's Yonkers Hayes restaurant was laid out for this multi-Emmy-winning cast of Heather Tom, Carla Mosley and Jacob Young. Jacob, the ladies have been here twice before. This is your first time. What's your experience been like? Uh, it, the it, this experience here has been uh, eye-opening culturally. Um, the fact that our fan base is just so massive <laughs> and loving and, and warm. We've just had such a great, uh, great time so far. It's amazing, amazing country. 50 years, what a milestone. What have the celebrations been like? Bold and the Beautiful knows how to party. I mean, like no other. So we've been all around the world kind of celebrating in, in different countries, and it's, yeah, it's been off the hook. I went to Monaco this year, and we, it was, uh, it, the schedule was unbelievable. I looked at our schedule, and I was like, have they scheduled sleep? <laughs> um, we shot there, we shot for two days, and every night we had an event, and it was just, I have to say, it was one of the best times I've ever had, mm -hmm. but I did not sleep for a week. <laughs> so it was, um, yeah, a lot of like, under eye skincare going on, but it was super fun. Now I know that you all had a great time touring the world, but Carla, I believe you had a magical time in France. I did, you know, it was really special, the, um, the trip to Monte Carlo, uh, because my mom got to come along, and she had never been before, and it was, she's, she loves fancy things, so she was like really excited, to, I took her to meet the prince and all of that, so that was really fun. But Monte Carlo is sort of like another planet, in a way, it's kind of like going to Vegas or Disney, you know, it's like this other world, and no one really lives there. Carla, what's it like working with your castmates? You guys seem to have such a great chemistry. You know, we, we really are family, and I think it comes from the top down because the Belle Phillips are sort of soap empire. They are soap family, soap royalty. And um, they have such a love for the genre and a love for their characters. And they make sure that everyone they cast really respects that and, and also comes with the same kind of warmth and sense of fun. Um, and then I think we all work really hard and, and it's it's always nice to know that the people that you're working with, it's like when you're on a team and you do a trust ball and you know no matter what, someone's there gonna be there to catch you. Um, so I think that it's, it's a real luxury to work with people who you know are there to catch you performance-wise, but also as, as human beings as well. While keeping it fresh, the producers must consistently deliver what 26 million viewers have come to love about the show. It's a balancing act which winemaker Rudolf Steenkamp can relate to. So what we got here is a 17 Merlot. Um, it's quite young still. Each area in the country has a unique terroir, and Constantia is one of them, very unique as well. And uh, yeah, great expression of fruit and berries and. Um, plums on the nose. In case she's ever called on to play a winemaker, Carla got some practice. I know you guys have done extensive traveling and you've tasted a lot of food. South Africa's probably some of the best that you've tasted, right? It is, oh my gosh, the food we had here, I would say we all agree that this is like the best food we've had on this trip. Yeah. And I love the, the spice, mm -hmm. it's the so spicing, amazing. The, flavor, yeah. the food is so fresh. And fresh and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, I mean, just some, from simple chutney, mm -hmm. we had this apricot chutney. Oh my gosh, it was, was so like, delicious. <laughs> it's just divine. <laughs> so if chutney is that good, you can imagine how good everything yes. else is. As a country and western singer brought up in the cattle country of Colorado, Jacob is a cowboy with a refined palate. I did grow up on a beef ranch, uh, and for you ladies that don't know the difference, they're the red and white ones. They're pulled Herefords without hey. horns. Wow. Um, uh, but uh, I love, I love beef. I love sausage and meats, um, and it complements red wine so well. That evening at the VNA Waterfront's Radisson Red Hotel saw the bold and the beautiful together with top billing recognized for their enduring appeal. We, we feel really privileged, uh, the fact that SABC, Top Billing, Bold and the Beautiful, which are absolute iconic programs, um, have decided that we're the right venue to host it. So we're honoured, uh, really, really chuffed to see you guys. And, and from the Bold and the Beautiful, to see Heather, Carla, Jacob tonight, uh, it's awesome. The stars were warmly welcomed as part of our extended TV family by Head of Bouquet for SABC3, Aisha Mohammed. Aisha, what do you think it is about The Bold and the Beautiful that has caused SABC3 to have had such a long-standing relationship with them? I think the beauty about The Bold is that 
um, audiences have grown up with such an amazing property over so many years. So my grandma used to watch it, my mom watches it, I watch it. I think it's because it's got such a personal nature to it. So we feel like we know the characters, we understand where they come from, we understand that they've also got problems even though they live these lavish lifestyles. So it's nice to get entrenched in that world. It's a little bit of an escapism as well. And I think that it's grown over, I mean, it's, they're celebrating 30 years, um, but they also have done it in a way in which they can take the generations forward over multiple generations. I think it's really, really special. 25 years for toppling, 30 years for the bold and the beautiful. That must mean something to South African television. Oh yeah, it's terrific. I mean, it shows the longevity we can have when we get it right. And that's a South African program and an American program. For top billing, it's great. I mean, I remember when it started, I'm old enough, and it's great to see it, how it's grown and, and all the new people on it. And uh, I wish you well for the next 25. Like Top Billing, the bold and the beautiful invest their all into keeping things interesting. What can fans expect? More and more drama. Always drama. I mean, that's what feeds the beast, right? Um, if it's not Brooke and Ridge, it's, you know, Katie and Bill. But um, for myself, for my character, there's, there's some, there's some curveballs that are coming up. And it's going to be some, some interesting things to watch. So, keep, you know, stay tuned. 30 years. 30 years is a huge milestone. You've seen the love that you've gotten from all the fans. How's that made you feel? Um, I, I can't really describe it, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I find it to be very emotional. I, I, I've never been, I've never experienced anything like this. Um, being here and seeing how much people love this show and love the characters, um, it just makes me feel so grateful and so loved. And happy anniversary to the bold and beautiful. Here's to another 30. Yes, and here, and happy birthday to you guys, Top Billy, and you guys rock. From its longest-running lifestyle program to its most popular international daytime drama, SABC3 is where it's at.